Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to find out the position of a point with respect to a straight line. When you talk about a straight line, there are always two sides of the line. Depending on the orientation of the straight line, the point could be above the line or below the line or it could be on the left hand side of the line or right hand side of the line. It all depends on how the straight line is actually oriented. So if we are given the equation of a straight line and the coordinates of a point, is there a way that we can somehow figure out whether the point lies on one side of the straight line or the other side? And actually there is a way and that's what we are going to investigate in this video. So here in the diagram, I have taken an example where we have a straight line whose equation is ax plus by plus c equals 0. And also we have been given a point p whose coordinates are x sub 1 comma y sub 1. Now if we drop a perpendicular from P onto X axis, let's assume that the perpendicular lands on the point R on X axis and also let's assume that this perpendicular intersects the line at point Q and in that case Q's coordinates would obviously be X sub 1 comma RQ. We don't know how many units RQ is but for the timing let's just assume that it's RQ units, right? What about the distances? So clearly Q is a point on this straight line. That means Q's coordinates must satisfy the equation of this straight line. In fact, we must understand that the coordinates of any point on a straight line must satisfy the equation of that straight line. So Q being a point on this straight line, Q's coordinates also should satisfy the equation of this straight line. So from here, can we then say that a times x sub 1, now I am using the coordinates of q on the equation of this straight line. So a times x sub 1 plus b times rq plus c must be equal to 0. And from here then can we say a times x sub 1 plus c is equal to negative b times rq. Now let's try to use the coordinates of p on this expression. The expression is actually ax plus by plus c. In this expression, if we use the coordinates coordinates of P then let's see what happens. So I'm going to use the coordinates of P in this expression. So then it would be A times X sub 1 because X sub 1 is the X coordinate of P plus B times Y sub 1 that's the Y coordinate of P plus C and from here can we rearrange it like this we can say A times X sub 1 plus C plus B times Y sub 1 and then can we also say that well A times X sub 1 plus C is actually equal to negative B times RQ so this is equal to negative B times RQ plus B times Y sub 1 and can we write it as b times we can say y sub 1 minus rq which can also be written as b times y sub 1 is nothing but rp so we can say rp minus rq if we assume that b is a positive number then we can take three cases like this so for a moment let's assume that b is a positive number so let me make a note here so when b is greater than 0 then first case would be like this if we have rp greater than rq then obviously the expression which is a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c this is going to be greater than 0 and the second case would be like this when we have rp is equal to rq then this expression will be equal to 0 that means p is lying on the straight line and then case 3 would be like this when rp is less than rq in that case the value of the expression will be negative so as you can see that in three different cases the value of the expression is either negative or positive or zero depending on the location of p so if we use the coordinates of p in this expression then depending on the value of the expression whether it's a positive or negative we can clearly understand whether p lies on one side or the other side of the straight line right and we are going to see similar behavior again if we consider b as a negative number then also we will have the same three cases and the first case will be like this rp greater than rq then the value of the expression will be less than zero if you see up there actually b is a negative number rp greater than rq so the quantity within the parenthesis in the pink box up there that quantity is positive but b is negative so their product will be negative and the case 2 will be like this if we have rp is equal to rq then obviously the value of the expression will be equal to 0 and the third case would be like this when rp is less than rq 
then the value of the expression will be greater than zero because the quantity within the parenthesis will be negative and on top of that b is also negative so then it will be greater than zero so again let me go back to the diagram here as you can see here that if we move p from one side to the other side of the straight line then the value of the expression now which expression i am talking about well i am talking about this expression right here in the green box right here the value of this expression is actually changing from positive to zero to negative or changing from negative to zero to positive right as we move p from one side of the straight line to the other side of the straight line that's the most important idea we have to catch right here that as p moves from one side of the straight line to the other side the sign of the value of this expression is going to change if we move p from one side of the straight line to the other side now think of a special scenario when p is at the origin so i'm putting a star mark here so let's say suppose we have p at origin that means p's coordinate would be 0 comma 0 then what would be the value of the expression well our expression was a x plus b y plus c and in this expression if we substitute x and y with the coordinates of p which is 0 comma 0 then it would be a times 0 plus b times 0 plus c and that is essentially equal to c and then if we take this situation here so now i'm going to take this situation where we say that okay let's assume that p is at x sub 1 comma y sub 1 then what would be the value of this expression well the value of this expression then will be something like this the expression is like this but then if we substitute the coordinates of p in this expression in place of x and y if we put the coordinates of p then this would be a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c and after evaluating this expression if we find that the sign of this expression sign in the sense whether it's positive or negative right if the sign of this expression matches with the sign of c then we can clearly understand that both p and the origin lie on the same side of the straight line this is very important we need to understand this point here right if the value of this expression let me again highlight this if the value of this expression has the same sign meaning positive or negative if the value of this expression has the same sign as the value of c then we can clearly say that both point p and the origin they are on the same side of the straight line let's take an example and try to understand it through an example say suppose we have an example like this suppose we have the equation of a straight line like this 2 times x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 and we have been given a point p let's say this is 1 comma 2 p's coordinates are 1 comma 2 now we have to find out whether p lies on the same side as the origin or whether p lies on the other side of the straight line so how are we going to find it out well if we use the coordinates of origin in the original expression so in this expression if we use the coordinates of origin can we write it as 2 times 0 plus 0 again for y minus 5 so that is the expression and this is actually negative 5 and here again if we use p's coordinates in the same expression then the expression going to look like this it would be 2 times p's x coordinate which is 1 plus p's y coordinate which is 2 and then minus 5 as in the original expression and this expression then evaluates to 2 plus 2 4 minus 5 that is negative 1 now you see that the sign of the expression after evaluating using the coordinates of origin and the coordinates of p we see that their sign is actually negative in both the cases so i am going to highlight the sign itself i don't care about the value of the expression i care about the sign of the expression because that's what changes when a point goes from one side of the straight line to to the other side so in this case because the expression evaluates to a negative value for both p's coordinates as well as origins coordinate we can conclude that both p and the origin they lie on the same side of the straight line i'll repeat it again when we evaluate the expression using the coordinates of the origin we get negative 5 and when we evaluate the expression using the coordinates of p which is 1 comma 2 then the expression evaluates to negative 1 in both the cases the value of the expression is a negative value that means we can conclude that p as well as the origin both of them lie on the same side of this straight line and the straight line which straight line well clearly this straight line the straight line that we have taken in the example that's the straight line 
we are talking about and this is the point we are talking about so this point p in this example lies on the same side of the straight line as the origin so whichever side the origin is located p also lies on the same side of the straight line now if we take another point let's suppose we have a point q for example suppose we take a point q and let's say its coordinates are 4 comma 5 and if we use the coordinates of q in this expression then this is going to evaluate like this so our expression becomes 2 times 4 for x i am using 4 and then plus 1 times y and here y is 5 so i am using plus 5 and then in the original expression we have a minus 5 so this actually becomes 8 and that's a positive value so now guess what because this is positive let me highlight that so using the coordinates of q in the expression it evaluates to a positive value that means p and q they lie on opposite side of the straight line they are not on the same side because the value of the expression when we use the coordinates of the points the value of the expression becomes negative in case of p and positive in case of q so you see the value of the expression changes from a negative to a positive value that means p and q they are not on the same side they are actually on the opposite side of the straight line whereas when we use the coordinates of origin then we show that the value of the expression was negative 5 and when we use the coordinates of p the value of the expression became negative 1 in both the cases it was a negative value so both p and the origin they lie on the same side of the straight line whereas p and q they lie on opposite side of the straight line like p is on one side and q is on the other side they are not on the same side of the straight line. So whenever we are given the coordinates of a point and the equation of a straight line, we can easily find out which side of the straight line that the point lies on. First, we are going to evaluate the expression using the coordinates of the origin. Then we are going to evaluate the expression using the coordinates of the point. If in both the cases, the value is positive or negative right the value has to be of the same sign so in both the cases if the value is of the same sign then we know that origin as well as the point p they lie on the same side of the straight line now if the values have opposite signs we don't care which one is positive and which one is negative if they are of the same sign they lie on the same side if the value becomes opposite signs then obviously they lie on either side of the straight line if i have to summarize the main concept here then we need to understand that a straight line divides a plane into two distinct regions for example suppose we have a straight line right here in the diagram whose equation has been given as ax plus by plus c equals zero and if we take a point p for example on the upper upper side of this straight line right here let's say this is a point p whose coordinates are let's say x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and if we evaluate this expression which is a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c now if the value of this expression becomes positive then we can say for sure that this region is the positive region for this line that means the line has divided the plane into the positive region being on the upper side and the negative region being on the lower side so for example we can denote it as this being the positive region so you take any point from this region and then use the coordinates of that point in the expression of this straight lines equation you will always get a positive value so this region can be denoted as the positive region if we get a positive value right it's not always guaranteed that the upper side will always be positive not necessarily it could be negative also but using the coordinates of a point if we evaluate the expression and this expression turns out to be positive then we can say well any point lying in the region will give a positive value of this expression and similarly if that side is positive then obviously the other side will be negative so this side will be negative so I'm kind of denoting it a bunch of negative signs here that this part of the plane will be negative because any point from this region when the coordinates of those points used to evaluate the expression the value of the expression will turn out to be negative so we can consider that this part of the plane would be the negative region for this straight line also it may happen that for a straight line suppose I have a second straight line here in the diagram and for this straight line on the upper side if we take a point P whose coordinates are x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and then we evaluate this expression and the value of the expression turns out to be negative then we have to note that this part of the straight line or this part of the plane that the straight line divides is the negative region with respect to 
the straight line and obviously the other side will be the positive region so on the lower side then it will all be positive region meaning if we take any point from the positive region the value of the expression will turn out to be positive when the coordinates of the point is used in the expression and similarly if we take any point from the negative region the value of the expression will turn out to be negative when the coordinates of those points are used in the expression and that's a very interesting concept which will be used when we talk about the angle bisector in an upcoming video i'm going to discuss about the angle bisector and there this particular concept will be heavily used so we have to understand one thing clearly that a straight line divides a plane into two distinct regions points from one region will evaluate the expression to be either positive or negative so if in one region one point evaluates to be positive then all points on that region will evaluate the expression to be positive and similarly if in a region one point's coordinate evaluates the expression to be negative then the coordinates of all points from that region will evaluate the expression to be negative i hope the concept is clear thank you for watching see you in the next video